You're listening to the Health Powered Productivity Podcast by RaiderCo. I'm Marcy Raider, founder and chief productivity lead. This podcast mission is to give you and your team bite-sized, time-saving, focus-boosting, health-improving tips that you can implement right away. Now, on with the show. Today is a guest episode with our Raider Co. Career and Workplace Management Specialist, Helene Bumbelow. Helene is a whiz at helping our clients discover how to take their current skill sets and determine where they want to go next, whether it's staying in the same industry or transferring to a new one. We get nothing but rave reviews about the insights she gives them. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Helene, and thank you, Marcy. Thank you for inviting me to be on your podcast. It's my pleasure to be here to speak with you all today. As a career management expert, I really want to talk today about five things that I feel are essential for someone to actively manage their long and fulfilling career path. Many people get a job and they kind of go into maintenance mode, that passive laissez-faire attitude where they expect their career path will just kind of run its own course and take care of itself, or worse, that employer is going to take care of you. They don't want to interfere, trusting that everything is just going to work out. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not how it works, especially in today's world. We've got this ever-changing landscape of opportunities and disappointments. We can look at the emergence of AI. From one lens, it's very exciting, very much of an opportunity. From others, well, it's a threat. Is that what's caused some of this tech downsizing? So in that case, it doesn't feel like an opportunity, but a disappointment. And in today's economy, where many companies and organizations are bracing for possible recessions of 2023, well, now is the time. Now is the time for you to face your current career path. Evaluate how you got here. And I understand where are you going to go next? Because I guarantee you there'll be a next. The only question is, will the next happen to you? Or will you be intentional and have your next be something you create for you? There are five things that we need in order for us to really manage our career. The first is a clear statement of your goal. You also need a professional resume. You need a LinkedIn profile, a strong network, and a job search strategy. So let's take these one at a time. A clear statement of your goal. Oh my, people tell me all the time, Helene, that's just it. I don't know what I want to do. Well, now's the time for you to start putting some crystallized thinking around all of that because you need to define where you want to be. If you don't define it, you're going to be bounced from place to place at the whim of others. There are ways for you to crystallize your thinking, to sort this out. And if you can't do it on your own, please go get a career coach. Find somebody with the expertise to help you work through all of this. I can also advise you to look at two books. They're both written by the same authors, Bill Burnett and Dave Evans. One is called Designing Your Life, and the other is called Designing Your Work Life. These two experts in innovative thinking and in design thought have applied design thinking not just to products, but to ourselves, to our individual lives, to our careers. Very interesting books. Do the exercises Take your time, but you can really use these materials to help you define what's next in your life. Now, if you're not a reader, another technique is to go to Indeed and use Indeed not as a job search engine, but as a database. Someone's paid HR recruiters a lot of money to figure out how to state and define the job qualifications, expectations, responsibilities. Use them. If you're not sure about the job titles that you want or you feel that the job titles are limiting your search, which they might be, 
then you do a Boleyn search and put in some of the tasks or qualifications that you want to use on the next role and see what kinds of job titles you come up with. Now, it's important then, once you have a clear statement of your goal, to build a resume. So that professional resume, now that you've got a clear goal in mind, needs to be very tailored to that goal, especially if you're changing fields, industries, companies, job tasks, functionality. You need to be speaking the language of where you're going, what you aspire to do, not where you've been. So again, if you need some help with your professional resume, please go after that and get some assistance. First of all, you need to be sure that you don't have what I call a bad resume. A bad resume is one that doesn't make it through the applicant tracking system. It's poorly formatted. It's formatted in a way that doesn't get through. Or it has typos, or it has poor grammar, or dates aren't aligned. You're using different font. I see a lot of those. You'd have no understanding of how many I comes across my desk. So if we're looking at resumes, we've got three levels, good, better, and best. A good resume is one that doesn't have all of those. It talks about the responsibilities that you're doing and that you've done. But we really want you in a better resume mode. A better resume is one that has bullet points that has highlighted your actions and your results, quantifiable whenever possible. And then the best version of a resume is that resume that's tailored specifically with the language of the role and the industry that you're moving toward. There is a tool online that I can recommend that you take a look at, and that's called jobscan.com. And also there's a book by a man named Steve Dalton called The Job Closer. And he does a great job talking about good, better, and best versions of resumes. And basically, Steve Dalton says, you shouldn't be spending more than three hours writing your resume. And I'm going to guess that there are some of you out there that have already spent way more than three hours in either creating a resume or revising your resume. Any way it, you look at it, you need a current resume that highlights your skills and abilities that if someone said to you today, hey, give me your resume, I've got a great opportunity, you'd be ready for that. The third thing you need is a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn today is really a resume plus. So it's not like a resume where you have sort of dry facts. It's where your personality shows up. It should be in the first person. It should be optimized with key words and sections in it that showcase who you are, what you're about. Now, you also want to be using this LinkedIn profile as a tool so that you can post engaging content, that you can like things, repost, that you can engage in discussions, that you can teach the algorithm in LinkedIn how to show you what is important and relevant in discussions in your industry. You want to be able to connect with and engage your target audience. Maybe find mentors. Certainly find people for informational interviews. And again, if you don't know how to do this, there are professionals that this is what we do. We build a LinkedIn profile and teach you how to optimize that tool so that you can build your, ba your brand and engage daily. The fourth thing that you need is your network. Now, I know, I know, you don't like networking. It's kind of sleazy. You don't want to do that. If that's what you feel about networking, then you don't know what networking is. Networking is a tool that helps all of us bring our acquaintances to allies and our allies to advocates. You can't start someday. You've got to start now. In fact, on LinkedIn, you have to have 500 plus contacts, connections, in order for that algorithm of your network to even work. 
Are you building your network? Do you have 500 plus? If you need some help with this, Steve Dalton has written another book called The Two-Hour Job Search. He's very instructive in this book and gives real specific uh, tasks for you to use to build your network. The fifth thing that you need is a job search strategy. Again, you can use that two-hour job search book by Steve Dalton and develop your LAMP list. It's a great tool. But what I see so many people doing is blindly sending out job applications. Now, you might feel good. You might feel productive. Oh, my goodness, I've got 15 job applications out this week. But let me tell you something, especially if you're on LinkedIn. If you're applying for jobs on LinkedIn, let me tell you that you are one of the 50 million job seekers every week that are actively filling out job applications. In fact, there are 90 job applications submitted every minute on LinkedIn. And there's only eight people every minute being hired through LinkedIn. So if there's 1,440 minutes in a day, that gives us about 10,000 people getting hired on LinkedIn each week. That also means that 49,990,000 people are not getting hired each week. Stop applying blindly and develop a strategy, which, yes, is dependent on your network. Right now, it is about 87% of all jobs are through connections of some sort. And today... It's going to take you two to six months, maybe longer this year, to find that next perfect job. What you have to do is realize that every employer is asking for you to do four things. I don't care what job you're in, what industry you're in. Your employer needs you to make things happen, collaborate with others, lead and influence others, and solve challenging problems. What you need to figure out is what you're good at, what you like to do, and what you can prove you can do. If you need help with that, find someone to help you crystallize that thinking. But in the meantime, focus on these five tools and you can at least get yourself in the right direction. Develop that clear statement of your goal, develop your professional resume, Put together that LinkedIn profile, build that strong network, and actively be engaged in a job search strategy. That's how you actively manage your career path. So good luck to you all. I wish you the best, and thanks for having this chat today. Bye. Thank you, Helene. If you'd like to take your career to the next level, check out our three-part career amplifier program at www.helloraderco.com forward slash career hyphen amplifier. Thank you for listening to the Raider Co. Health Powered Productivity Podcast. The resources mentioned are linked in the show notes. We encourage you to check out our recommendations page on helloraderco.com forward slash recommendations, which lists all our favorite products and services. If you found this podcast valuable, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with someone you know that could benefit. If you want an eye-opening process to plan and reflect on, giving you the superpowers to see your remarkable accomplishments, experiences, and key lessons earned along the way, check out our Powered Path Playbook. It's an interactive digital course and analog tool that leverages your past and powers your future. HelloRaderCo.com forward slash playbook. Many of our listeners use our podcast as discussion points for team meetings. If you want tailored team training or coaching, reach us at HelloRaderCo.com. And lastly, if you're looking for more bite-sized tips, get a sneak peek of my latest book, Work Well, Play More, Productive, Clutter-Free, Healthy Living, One Step at a Time. It's one-year behavior change in productivity, clutter, and health 
in novice, pro, and master levels. It's waiting for you at helloraderco.com forward slash gift.